Hi guys, Scott here from Outlaw Garage. We are in Hawaii. 66. 67 doors, but nobody cares about the doors. No. Safari on the front, nine hour being on the front, big fatties on the rear, and it's got the wide end fenders. What have you got in the rear? Got, um, I did sneak a bit of a look and you got some big trumpets. 2074. Nice. 48. Oh wow. Got a small cam. Love the colour on it. Yeah. And the rear's yeah. nice. We talked about these a little bit earlier. These being widened. Yes. Oh, look at that on the rear. That's a popper. Yeah, I did all kinds of work on this thing. Oh. Ooh. You know, I just I just make any I try to make it my style. It's a nice clean dash. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, and the seats are nice as well. What's your last name? We were admiring the rear, then we got front bag. Oh, look at that. Ah, uh, your compressor and everything up the top there. Ah. Uh, kind of sneaky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you, pop, you put this to the ground, you can't drive it because it sits on the tire. Yeah, okay. So when yeah. I go home, I drop it around so nobody can try to get it out of my yard. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, actually a 60, but you know. Heavily modified. <laughs> yeah. Chop just, top. Is raised, chop top, baby window, suicide doors, rag top. 1968, 48s. And then paint job as well. <coughs> this paint job here is 25 years old. Oh really? Yeah, 1996 it was painted. Wow. Yeah. That's lasted really well. Yes sir. That's why, you know, people tell me to uh, change it and uh, paint, paint it a different, my, my look, but I yeah. like it like this. Rag top's really nice. <laughs> Oval window in the rear. Look at these suicide doors. Look at that. That's so cool. It has got a bit of a rear seat delete in there. Inside. Considering the paint was done that long ago, it's really aged well. I think that's cool. Bombing around Hawaii in that. So, low light, Fox on it. Here, we've got a 58 rag top, obviously spelling it out with the number plate that does as we've driven around hawaii that does look like an old vintage one or i'm guessing because it's on the front that might be um a non-stock number plate yeah oh, no it look it's got it on the rear as well that's nice Thank you. lovely interior it's, all right, Uncle. it's really nice what I have noticed about the cars already here is the paint's pretty good and the interiors are lovely. It's a very original car. Original paint. Look at that. I love that. You see the original paint on the door. Brilliant car. Please are wanted ad on a 67 uh, Facebook page. Uh, saying that I want a you know, unmodified, untouched, unmolested 67. A guy responded to my ad saying he has something that uh, that you know, probably what I'm looking for. He sent me pictures and videos and you know, uh, is there a number I can call him at? Called him up and asked him how much he wanted and asked him when can I send him the money, you know? Yeah. It's a brilliant buy. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I love it. Paint's great, interior's lovely. Well, get those in, uh, I'm very proud of you for keeping those wheels clean as well. Oh, thank you. Because <laughs> <laughs> these are not wheels that I could keep clean. They are. I'm not that good. Uh, Definitely not that good. So 61 dual cab, ceiling wax red, 
think the light might be a bit crummy this side, so I might go around the other side. Uh, air bagged, and there's the exhaust. Look at that. That is bang on the floor. It is tubbed, as you would kind of expect. I think we'll try and open the door again. I think it's got new rubbers. So it's a little bit tough. There we go. Tubbed. So you will be sticking your head through the roof when you're driving. There we go. That is cracking. So we've got some carver here. Look at that. You can put it under. Look at that. Are you good with that? Yep. Cheers. There you go. Oh, that is definitely a taste I'll remember. Oh. Well, it kind of tastes like it looks, to be honest. <laughs> so, great the guys have labelled their cars for us. 1966. Yeah. Love, like the burnt orange on this with the vintage white, that's good. We have just had some carver and that has made my tongue a little bit uh, tingly, I think is the way we will go. So I um, hope the rest of the video turns out well, but that is cracking again, again, and I think we will say this a lot during this video, interiors are absolutely lovely. And I think, is that kind of like an ostrich interior, leather? Probably gonna have to open that up and have a feel at that, because that looks great. So here we go, we've got some luxury in this Beetle. It has air conditioning, ice cold. That compressor there is probably bigger than one I've seen in a Porsche. As usual, none of the trumpets have got filters on them, but I guess the roads aren't dirty enough here for that. The roads are pretty good here, so that's nice. As we can see by everybody's got shiny chrome wheels, which we would never have. <laughs> it is, but... So we're talking Australian throwback. Ah, see, the rear I the rear. don't know about that. <laughs> and, those, and those back ones are all year as well. So they're it's Australian one year only? Yeah. See, I didn't even know that. that you come to Hawaii to find that out. <laughs> they are really nice. Oh, the so when they... 50-50. So when they blink, it all flashes through all the clear at the back there, yeah. does it? But I think I'm missing an, another inside bulb that, that kind of... Illuminates a uh, thing from I got you what you mean. Yeah, I got you. But I saw them, I had to have them, I got them at a swap meet and Yeah, they they must be rare like hen's teeth. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, I haven't noticed those before anyway. Yeah. Yeah, they're cool. It's a lovely bug. Thank you. Look at that. Hot wheels on the side. So it's got dark real quick, but uh, we've got a little bit of light here still. So flamed out beetle. Again, big massive monster taco. Look at the flames on that. I do like that. Graduation in the paint all the way through up the purple at the top there. That is really nice and the white really makes it pop. It might be a little bit too dark, but there's the interior. Nobody runs filters. Look at those. And then here, a fastback. We don't see many of these dotted around. That is nice. Oh, no, that's not, no, that's not Blacked out, so probably really hard to see here. But that's a nice looking car. Really cool. So we are in the dark here. I'm hoping this picks it up. Lovely blue beetle. Rag top as well, look at that. On the inside. And I think we can see here a raised up bay window it's raised but that exhaust hanging out the back there is low it's got a little bit of rust on a blesser look at this all the bottom six inches and there we go the door's got a little bit there but driven look at the spikes on the wheels look at these bloody things look at those I guess that's like a Mad Max bus, but here in Hawaii. Look at those. 
All right, so we're out and about today. We're at General Auto Repairs here in Hawaii. These guys have done a collection of VWs, appeared in Hot VWs magazine a lot with a lot of their cars. So we're gonna take a bit of a tour with Richard today and take a look around. When I first got this car, it was red. It was on the side of the road for sale. So I, I put the guy and I said, it, just, uh, it was for sale. I said, hey, I'm interested in buying a car. So I, I purchased it. I got an 1835 and um, I was driving it for a while. And then one day I said, just change the oil. When we changed the oil, I, I saw shavings uh, in the oil. Uh, so I told my friend, forget it. I, I forget it. We're going to change I'm going to change the oil. So what I did was we ended up stripping the whole car, taking it apart. We're going to the bottom up. I got, I, I um, soda blasted it with, with a baking soda type. Yeah. And it took up the bare metal. We took it off, took it to the shop, the paint shop, had it painted, and we worked it from the bottom up and built it like the other picture that I showed you. Yep. And then had an engine in there, it was too big, and I asked Richard if I had it, I didn't want it. I wanted a smaller motor, so we ended up. Was it just hard to drive? Speeding tickets? It was just a, no, it's just a pain in the ass because it's so big. And I'm like, about the speeding tickets. No, no, no. I, I, I just, I didn't want to kill myself. I didn't want to kill myself. It's because when I went fast, I felt like the front end was gonna blow out, and something was gonna happen. I was gonna crash. That's how I just felt. Lifts up a little bit. Yeah, just, just too big. And I was busy at work so much that I already drove it. So I just wanted to just. I'm getting older now, I don't want to go fast. I want to just cruise with my wife. So I brought, I asked Richard, I told Richard I had it, and he said, he suggested if he wanted to swap, and I said, yeah, better, sure. And then, um, he suggested. Yeah. Then, then <laughs> yeah, I wanted to get a smaller motor. It's then, two versions of this story. Yeah, and then, and then we said, okay. And he said, <laughs> he said, I'll, I'll, I'll swap the motor and I'll give you cash, some cash for it. I said, okay. And then after that, he called me back and said, do we like do this? I said, sure, let's do it. So I ended up paying him because look what he, <laughs> look what he did. This is what he did for beauty. Yeah, and I love cracking it. it. Yeah. Like the engine looks gorgeous. And I loved it. It's like, I mean, I, sometimes I don't even want to drive it. It's so nice, you know. And I, I try not to drive it on rainy days. And I had to bring it here this morning. It was drizzling, and I was like, man, oh, oh shit, I gotta drive it now. But you know, it's I a pretty car, but it's a manly pretty car. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Handsome car. Yeah. And all because of like this guy right here. because of this know, guy. Like this is the man. If, if you're in Hawaii, this is the guy to see. This is the guy right here. I don't shit you. Nobody touches his car but him. Yeah. So that's that's a, that's what is going on. And the color, the blue. It's a, it's a PPG paint, and the name of it was Big Bang Blue. I don't know how, how they got that name, but that's what said on the paint. The yeah. name matches you perfectly. <laughs> Here is really nice. I like the blur of the door card against the blur of the car. Did you lift the hood up? Yeah, is it pretty under there as well? Yeah. I'd imagine it is. Oh. That's nice. Very clean. Wow. Yeah, very nice. Proud owner. So here while we're in the shop, we've got a 65 jewel cap. I think we'll be able to spot. This has been tubbed. Which is a bit of a theme around here with buses. They, they are normally tubbed with airbags and I think we'll cover another bus here in a minute that has also been tubbed restoration going on here. I don't know if that's actually got a long way to go really. The tray's really clean. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. On underneath is nice as well. So this is appearing in the next Hot Wheels VW magazine. Uh, patina wise, so we had this originally, and then this is a brand new roof on top, and then they've sympathetically patina around the side there, which I think looks really nice. This is obviously bagged, it's got two compressors in the rear, 
uh, just so that it goes up and down a little bit quicker. I think we might be able to spot, so we'll have a look underneath this thing here. Can we see that? It is literally dropped on the transmission. That there is transmission dropped. Here we go, we've opened this up. This is a 70. Has got a lovely rag top on the roof. We might be able to see that a little bit more if we sit inside. There we go. So the bus has got belly pans, of course, because that takes the majority of the strength out of the bus. But it looks good. I like the roof rack and then round on the other side with the ladder. I like that. Here's the motor inside. And there is the two compressors for the air ride kit. I do love those trumpets. Look at those bright red. It's nice you kept like the patina on it and then added to it. Yeah, my wife wanted to... We, there's a bus on the internet that looks like this. It's from Europe. I guess it's a hydraulic setup. It looks just like this. And then, um, but it has all white top, no, no, no rag top. And that thing is on the ground. And then um, my wife was like, I want that look. So we originally had BRMs and we did that look. Yeah. And then, you're not <laughs> getting an interview. You're not getting an interview. You can't talk and then <laughs> well, anyways, not be seen. <laughs> <laughs> so originally we had that look and we ran it for a year like that. Yeah. And then I was like, I just couldn't live with it being just oh, that ugly. Sorry, I'm so sorry. And I ended up doing the whole undercarriage that looks like the engine compartment. Yeah. Did it all just like that. And you know, of course, put the new interior in it, the new roof clip. The yeah. whole bottom six inches of the car is all brand new sheet metal. And I left rust where you see it just so I can add to that yeah, 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 yeah. patina. Yeah. So the roof is brand new. That's all fake patina there. And then everything around the windows is, is literally how it looked like when I got it. And below the belt line, I kind of encouraged it. So we didn't cover this before, but this huh? has got cameras all the way around the bus. I'll pop in the passenger side. I'm running around. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. I think there's one in the rear as well. We're actually going to sit here. So, let's see how to do this. That's your side? Ah. That's my side? So it's triggered on the indicators? Yeah. That's yeah. handy. Reverse. Hey, that's cool. Well, we're back from Hawaii, back in Melbourne. I wanted to say a special thanks to Sal for organising the Wednesday night show and for everybody that turned up. Great hospitality, loved it. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Really great um, evening out, so thank you very much, guys. Thanks, Richard, for the tour of the shop and your red bus. Brilliant, loved it to bits. Um, we've got more adventures coming, loads of things coming to the channel. So I don't know if we're in Melbourne or Sydney next time, but other adventures coming very soon new video dropping every tuesday please drop this one a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel and we'll see you later guys bye